What is going on guys, Kevin over at Light Bros. Coming back with another video today, and today we have another huge box of superheroes. A pound and a half of superheroes, to be honest. Uh, and it is $350 is what I had to pay for this. Uh, things are getting more expensive. Superheroes used to be on the cheaps, but people are realizing, hey, there's a lot of cool superheroes uh, to be had. So that's what we ended up with. Stores.ebay.com slash Light where you can find some of this stuff, and also on Whatnot is actually where you can find a lot of it now. Uh, I've been kind of switching over to that platform for the most part. I haven't been putting a lot of work into eBay, to be honest, uh, as we're having so much fun over on Whatnot. So if you guys have not followed me on Whatnot, go ahead and do that. You get $10 and I get $10 for referring you. It's kind of a cool way to support the channel uh, and get $10 for free at the same time. That link will be in the description as well, so go ahead and check that out. 350 bucks. we got a lot, a lot of ground to make up here, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can find. Hopefully we've got some good stuff. Uh, here is Robin to start the day. There is a version of Robin that is really good that has solid green. I don't know if this is light green or solid green. It's always hard to tell which one that is, but I think that one's just a standard one. We do have Flash, uh, the newer version of Flash with dual molded legs. That one's actually pretty good. I won't put it in the ting pile because I don't know if it's ting worthy specifically. Uh, this one has some concerns of mine and uh, rightfully because it is one of the most faked Legos and you can see that that one is fake as well, which is not a good sign. A lot of superheroes are faked nowadays, which is just a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, we'll put that over there for later. Uh, this one, I'm not 100% sure. I think this is actually a Ghostbusters fig, which actually could be one of the better figs. I think that's the Ghostbusters girl, if I'm not mistaken, from the firehouse. Uh, not 100% sure, but I'm gonna put that into research and that one might be a fantastic find. Uh, which is really cool. We have Robin with a katana for some reason. <laughs> Robin's kind of mid-value. Uh, we'll put him in the ting though because he's got that cool red, or sorry, cool uh, spiked cape, which is actually kind of kind of decent. Uh, another ting right there is Green Lantern. That one's one of the ones that flies under the radar quite a bit. About $15 on that fig, so not bad at all. We have the Mighty Micros Hulk. That one luckily is real. Here's another good one. We do have Doc Ock with his uh, grimacing face, I believe is what they call that one, or clenched teeth maybe clenched teeth. There's there's like three versions of that old head. Uh, that is a solid ting right there. We're going to go with uh, this one next, and it could have been a ting. That is the old Joker's uh, torso, but it is unfortunately cracked, and they put a whole bunch of other things. They probably cracked it by putting different arms on it, unfortunately. So uh, that's a bummer, but at least we got his headpiece, and I believe that that is real. So that is actually a hard hard uh, piece to find right there. So that's gonna go in the ting pile. That's the old Joker's uh, headpiece, which I'll be able to use probably right away. Speaking of Joker, there's another version of him. We do have Captain Marvel. That one is cracked, unfortunately, as well. Here's Red Hood's hood, if you guys were wondering what that looks like. That's what it looks like. Uh, we do have Mighty Micro's flash here as well. Here's another great ting. Hopefully it is not cracked and in good condition. It's a little dirty. Uh, we'll clean that up, but it's not cracked and it is in good condition. So that is Deathstroke. That's one of the fan favorites. I cannot keep that thing in stock for the life of me. Uh, it just goes out of stock instantaneously when I get one of those. Uh, we have Nick Fury. Not a solid find, but it's it's all right. Uh, this one is Yellow Jacket, I believe, is what that one is called. Um, and actually, that is a pretty good find. Um, I don't, I'm trying to remember what the value of that guy was, but I think it's kind of middle. We'll put it down. Eh, we'll, yeah, we'll put it down there for right now. Just, just, just for right now. <laughs> uh, we have Poison Ivy. This is her, I think one of her newest forms. I'm not sure if the value has hooked up just yet there. We'll put that in kind of research because I'm not sure if that is a ting. Uh, some of the newer um, Poison Ivies are actually quite a bit of value, uh, but I don't know about that one. Aquaman, that is uh not, not bad. Uh, it's not great, but it's not bad. We have an Iron Legion. That's one of the fan favorites. Uh, these guys sell instantaneously as well. That's about 20 to 25 bucks. Solid ting right there. We'll put that down there. Uh, we do have both Space Batman wings, which is kind of cool to get both of those. Uh, hopefully we have a Space Batman in here to go with it. He's not super valuable, but about 15 bucks if you have both sets of wings. We have Superman, one of the uh, ammo guys, I think is what they're called. Um, hmm. That's not correct headpiece, but uh, that's the King Tut version, I think, from the Lego movie, I believe. Uh, Batman, you know what we do with Batman. Batman, Batman, two Batmans. <laughs> There's an interesting custom version of Joker, and that actually looks pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. That is actually 
a pretty good custom. I'm, I am not mad about that one. That's, that's actually pretty sick. Uh, we're going to put that one down here just because it's cool. It's not worth anything, but it's, it's a cool custom. And I, I appreciate people's actual custom work uh, if they put real Lego figures together in, in an interesting way. And that one is probably one of the cooler ones I found recently. Uh, we have Green Goblin in the Mighty Micros. Of course, Spider-Man. What's a superhero haul without original Spider-Man? Well, not original. That's actually the non-original, but <laughs> the original is worth quite a bit of money, so I would take the original. Speaking of original, uh, like this one. Wow, look at that. I didn't even try that timing. Holy cow, he is in fantastic condition. Spider-Man 1, right there. The original, the man, the myth, legend. That one skyrocketed after that movie came out. Has come down a little bit in value since, uh, but it's still pretty good. We got Superman, I don't know why I was holding that. Uh, Batman, another Joker, nothing much there. This is the Lobster Batman. If that one's complete, it's not a bad fig, but it's not complete, obviously. We have Penguin, Batman, Superman combo. That's an interesting one. Uh, another version of Spidey, Hulk hands. Gotta have Hulk hands, right? Kids love Hulk hands. Another Spidey, surprise, surprise. Uh, this is, I believe, the first version of Harley Quinn, if I'm not mistaken. That's kind of mid-value as well. Not super bad. And, uh, ooh, get on the Spidey train right here. We got Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 3. Don't see a head on this one, unfortunately, but that one is also fantastic. I think the light blue is slightly more valuable. Uh, during that surge, I think the dark blue was actually more valuable for a moment, but I think now the light blue has taken over in terms of value. Uh, we have a uh, Red Hood or uh, Red Skull. Iron Skull or Red Skull, sorry, uh, is what we have right there, the head piece anyways. Uh, a little bit of a different version of Batman. Don't get that one all the time. This one actually is a Star Wars cape, one of the uh, Royal Guards. Uh, we do have Mr. Freeze. There is a somewhat valuable version of Mr. Freeze, and that one might be it. I want to put that one in research as well. Uh, he does not have the purple hands. I think the one without purple hands is the more valuable one if I'm not mistaken. A uh, really cool version of Penguin there. Not super valuable, but it is cool. Uh, we do have a Chitari and a Venom with spines. Not bad, not bad. Speaking of Green Lantern, we already found one of these today, but we have another one, which is, I'll take. I'll take all the Green Lanterns I can get. Easy sells right there. Uh, we have the clone patrol pilot, or uh, <laughs> patrol cop here. It's, uh, it's, they had to work afterwards, you know? They had to do something, so... Uh, a couple capes. These are actually the violet capes, which are very, very hard to come by. I think the only thing that that actually ever came in was a Harry Potter. Uh, so it's interesting that there's like three of them right here. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever unless they reintroduce them in something that I'm not aware of. Uh, and then we have a purple cape here as well, which is interesting too. Uh, zombie driver. Everybody loves zombies. Batman, Batman. Of course, what's a superhero's haul without Spider-Man and Man-Bat? Gotta have Man-Bat. Uh, this is the Heartbreaker Iron Man. Unfortunately, it is cracked like so many other Iron Mans in the world. Um, that's just uh, just just a natural fact of life there. Uh, we've gotten that Batman quite a few times. Uh, here's another one of these. Oh, it's AIM, not ammo, sorry. AIM, AIM soldiers. Uh, he's got his jetpack and one of these little launchers there. Not bad. Uh, Dark Blue Batman. A little bit better than the other ones we were finding earlier. We got Venom and another version of Man... Not a ver another version, but the same version of Man-Bat. Uh, that is Harry Potter, I believe. And then just a kind of random fig. That's like the uh, the first guy that dies off in any superhero movie is, is that guy. <laughs> That's his role. That's his role in the story. Uh, Catwoman. Unfortunately, you're looking for the one without the purple. That's a little bit more valuable than that one. Uh, that's the more common one that we see there. Uh, here is Falcon's Wings, I think, which is actually pretty decent. I have plenty of him, so... Uh, oop, actually. There you go. There you go. Does he have a piece that goes on there? I feel like he has a piece that goes on there. But anyways, there you go. Falcon with wings. Not a bad fig. He could probably go in medium value. Uh, Batgirl with the little uh, tutu. Not bad. Another Batman, Mighty Micros Robin. It goes this way, buddy. They just don't teach anything in these schools. Superhero schools, got to get it together. Uh, there's another just regular standard Batman. Uh, we have Spider-Man Noir, which is actually a really, really dope fig. I am I am totally into that figure with that awesome hat. That is actually a really good find as well. Uh, I believe that is a like a some kind of superhero skateboard. I don't remember which one it goes to, though, to be honest. No idea. 
I'm trying to remember what this is. It is cracked, unfortunately, anyways, but usually the pinker torsos. <laughs> For some reason, the pink torsos, a lot of those tend to be pretty good. Uh, Sinestro. Oh, look at this one. We actually had this conversation in a Whatnot stream the other day that there was a white version of Man Bat. Uh, or it's just a bat. I'm not 100% sure if it actually is a Man Bat. I think the white one is Man Bat. Uh, and then the brown one, the other light brown one is Monster um, Fighters. But uh, the white version of Man Bat is super cool. I never get that one. So we're going to put that one down here in the ting pile. Hopefully we get the headpiece uh, for that. Speaking of headpiece, here is a Two-Face headpiece that is in fantastic condition. I will use that in a second and we'll make an awesome uh, Two-Face right there, which is actually going to be probably a $40 fig nowadays. We got Zane in there. That is not superheroes, but it is something pretty cool. Uh, another police officer, another Batman. We got Miles Morales. That's a popular one. That one goes with no problems whatsoever. Uh, Riddler with that awesome derby hat of his uh, right there. Not bad either. Green Goblin. Most superheroes are pretty decent. Uh, some of them sit around forever, like Spider-Mans and Batmans, but uh, most of them are pretty cool. Deadshot. Well, pretty cool and uh, and sell pretty well. Uh, we have Miss Marvel, which is a great fig. If we can find the rest of it, that would be fantastic. Let's go ahead and hopefully hopefully get some of those. Uh, Batman CMF thing. We have Harley, Dr. Harley Quinzel right there. Not quite the Harley Quinzel minifig we're looking for, but uh, that's the series version. There's the CMF version of Spider-Man, I believe. Uh, one of them. I think there was a couple CMF Spider-Man. Uh, Superman. Another Green Goblin. Those went up tremendously when Spider-Man went up tremendously as well. Uh, this one is a zombie, I want to say. I don't remember what zombie that is, though. We'll put that in research. I don't remember. Uh, we have Arkham Joker. This one's actually pretty dope. This one is a Robin fig with the red mask. Uh, and all Robins are actually pretty good. You know, for the most part, Robin is a solid find uh, in most of his forms, actually. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I haven't done, I haven't gone through the Robin bin in a while. Uh, we got another Riddler. But for the most part, Robin is actually pretty good. Uh, Werewolf from Monster Fighters. Is it Monster Hunters or Monster Fighters? There's one's a video game and one's a thing, and I always confuse them. <laughs> Comment below how stupid I am, because I've, I've answered that like a billion times. Ultron Sentry. Uh, there's the red version of... Um, uh, is that Falcon as well? Oh my god. Now I'm totally blanking. Vulture? It's not Vulture. It's Falcon, I think. Uh, there's another version of Batman and Miles Morales on one of those little jumpy thingies. Because uh, everybody loves jumpy thingies. Uh, we have Outriders. Ooh, look at this. We had the original Spider-Man and... Oh, it's so chewed up. Why? Why did they do that? No. Some dog did not like Green Goblin. Oof. Oof. Where's his helmet, though? I'd like his helmet. That would be nice, at least. There's a green cape. Mighty Micro's uh, Captain America... Not bad, not bad. Another Spidey, not the one we're looking for. These are not the droids you're looking for. Nothing much there, nothing much there. There's a Scarlet Witch, that's pretty good. Uh, another Iron Man torso, wrong arms though, and that's terrifying to replace uh, those arms. Uh, there's another Iron Man too, that's one of the newer suits though, not super valuable. There's Cap. Oh, look at that ting right there, Superboy, hello. That is one of the uh, Target exclusive boxes, I think. And that is actually a fantastic find right there. I think his head is common, if I'm not mistaken. I think the only rare, rare piece is the torso, if I'm not wrong. I think the legs are somewhat common as well. I could be wrong on that one. Um, I could be wrong on it all. But uh, I want to look at what came with that fig, and I'll have to see if the rest of them are in here. We have the Mandarin. Uh, there is oop, Big Bang Theory fig right there. Uh, this one looks like a fake snake. Man, you can just tell. You can just tell right away. You just look at him, I spot him a mile away. Uh, there's another Harley Quinn, same exact version right there. Nothing there, Batman, so nothing super exciting. Arc Trooper legs, we'll take some of those. Yeah, I'll take those, that's fine. You wanna give me Arc Trooper legs, I'll take Arc Trooper legs. Uh, Cyclops, that's one we don't usually find very often on the channel. He's not actually super valuable, to be honest. It was one of my favorite uh, X-Men when I was a kid. Uh, so it's very surprising to me that his value is not super high. Because uh, he was I think he was only in one set. Maybe I'm mistaken there as well, but not 100% sure. Uh, another Captain Marvel. This one is not broken. I'm trying to remember which version of that was there was. There was only one Captain Marvel, and it was a lot easier. 
Now there's a whole bunch of them, so. <laughs> uh, the original one has come down in value because there's a whole bunch of them as well. Uh, some Outriders. Here's the uh, same version of Robin. Oh, well, it's not the same version. It's a little different version. Interesting. A couple Robins there. Uh, oh, 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 we found it. We found it. State of the end. You get spoiled. Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 3. Not bad at all. We'll take that. Uh, that's one of the gangsters from um, Indiana Jones. This one might be a fig from that same box research. I don't know. Maybe. I'm trying to remember what came. I thought it was maybe only one superhero. There's the Heartbreakers um, helmet. Yep, helmet. That's a word. Mighty Micros Batman. Nothing. Venom, Venom. I always thought there was only one version of Venom there, but there are actually two. You can see that they are different. Open mouth and closed mouth. I think there might be actually three or something to that effect. Um, but those are the two of them. Two of them that you can actually see. Uh, Mighty Micros Ultron. For Mighty Micros, you want the Loki fig is what you're looking for. Unfortunately, we've got a whole bunch of them, uh, Captain Cold, uh, without the Loki one, which is quite sad. Quite sad. Nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. Uh, I think that's going to do it. That is a fake shield, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it looks fake. Uh, here's Ruina's hairpiece. That's actually not bad either. Uh, but that's going to do it for us today. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We kind of combined a lot of the piles here, which is... <laughs> Something happened. I think uh, my camera was a little, a little wonky, and I didn't put it correct, but uh, hopefully I find the hair of her. I'm pretty sure, I didn't see any other Ghostbusters in here, but I'm pretty sure that's one of the Ghostbusters figs from the firehouse. And if it is, I think that's a really good one. Uh, I know this one is really good for sure, Superboy. Uh, but uh, comment below what your favorite one is. We've got both Spider-Mans. This is gonna be a fine, fine addition to our figs in the store. So if you guys do want any of these, again, whatnot, that link is in the description. P.O. Box is in the description if you want to send some fan mail or just, you know, your whole Lego collection. I'll take it. What? Who was that? I'll catch you on the next one.